Greetings and thank you for tuning in to My Journey with Paula G. We'd like to thank our underwriters, the Good Actors Studio of Marietta, Georgia, my coffee shop at East Lake, Pastor Time International Bible College, Augusta, Georgia, with Dr. Paul and Marcia Kelly, Creekside Dental Incorporated of Douglasville, Georgia, Lucy Designs with Brandon Sampson of Maryland, Survival Radio Network and Clicks Photography by Clark Garrison, and Positive Power Double XI Christian Media and Radio Network with Journey Wars Live Worldwide. We hope you enjoyed this presentation and tune in again. Embrace the journey. Greetings, I am Paula G and I invite you on my journey to Lady Wisdom After Midnight. It's a journey that will guide you and show you how you can make it through your jagged seasons of life. You may pick up some useful pearls of wisdom as you travel through those thought-provoking pages that can steer you through your obstacles and guide you to your new season of discovery and change. My Journey to Lady Wisdom After Midnight is available on Amazon in paperback and Kindle. So get your copy today and embrace the journey. Look at me Really look at me You don't know me Yet you judge me Assume all the wrong things You would rather Listen to the noise You call me names Without any proof of your claims This says more about you Than it says anything about me Flames of hate Hoping I'd bow down And assume my fate Your words are Hollow I refuse to be Afraid of my own shadow Let me Tell you who I am I am a black woman Born free You can't take that away from me I won't be told what and who I am supposed to be I won't give in to your fears Nor will I give you any of my tears I am
Welcome to My Journey with Paula G, where we juggle the journey called life while walking in the gifts and talents that God has given us. We thank you so much for joining us for another episode. We are coming to you from Atlanta, Georgia, and for this episode, we are in front of a live studio audience, so we are so appreciative of each and every person that has joined us for this episode. And you all know, when I start each week, I always start with a word of wisdom or a word of encouragement from one of our viewers. And today, our word of encouragement comes from Pastor Hines. And Pastor Hines says, our history is not the result of blind chance or the impersonal forces of fate. My personal history and yours are bound up with the God of history, who makes our history count forever. And those are the words of encouragement from Pastor Hines. Those are some deep words. That's some wisdom right there. Well, today with us is a gentleman. And, you know, as we mentioned, we're coming to you from Atlanta, Georgia. And this episode, as uh, many of our episodes, are being filmed here at the Good Acting Studio Black Box Theater. And this gentleman right here is the brains, the creativity, the vision behind the Good Acting Studio, and he is the one and only Michael Mario Good. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for being here, Paula. You're looking wonderful today. I just want you to know that. Just very sharp. Just, just clean as the board of health, as we I say. I had to clean up. I had to clean up for you. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate that. So share, share with us a bit of your, you've had quite a, a journey in, in uh, the arts. So share with us a bit of your journey in the arts, how you uh, became interested in the arts and how um, God kind of guided you through that journey, how it's, he's been with you on that journey. It's funny, Paula G. I, uh, my family uh, always picks at me because a, year, a few years ago, I did a, a one-man show about Burt Williams called Nobody. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, probably one of the hardest things I've ever done in my mm -hmm. life because I was still in the classroom as a teacher, teaching theater, middle Ooh, school theater. Wow. So part of that process was leaving school, mm -hmm. going to rehearsal, mm -hmm. working on the show. And um, I remember we had opening night. Mm -hmm. The show was, I don't know what happened, but the show was great. <laughs> 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 Something happened, Something I, but the happened. show was great. Mm -hmm. And uh, my family came from out of town to see the play um, in a two and a half hour show of mm -hmm. just me mm -hmm. on stage, acting, singing, and dancing. And after the play, <laughs> my Aunt Deborah, she said, you know what, Mikey? That my family Mikey calls me Mikey. Mikey. Yeah. <laughs> she said, Mikey, she said, you've been having a one-man show your whole life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's, that's kind of it. Yeah. I've been having my one-man show my whole life. Ever since. Yeah. So, so, so what within that one man show? What are some of the things that have happened? What are some of the highlights of those, you well, know, of those moments? I I remember uh, that I always enjoyed the feeling that I got being mm -hmm. in front of people, mm -hmm. performing, um, acting, singing, mm -hmm. dancing, and um, it all started in church. Mm -hmm. My great grandmother was um, in um, was a member of the Church of God of Christ, mm -hmm. and, and they have church. Lamar, South Carolina. Yes, Lamar, Lamar, South Carolina, which is in Darlington County. <laughs> so, um, you know, I would go visit her every summer, mm -hmm. and every other day we would be in church. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I started performing in church. And it just brought me so much joy. It was just fun, yeah. you know. And so at 12 years old, I did my first, um, not 12 years old. Mm -hmm. I, well, yeah, I did my first play. Mm -hmm. But at 16, I did my first professional show. Mm -hmm. um, and some of the highlights along the way have been, you know, being in the presence of greatness. Mm -hmm. Being in the presence of uh, people who I've been able to learn from or just take something away from mm -hmm. and understand that um, that the, what I have is a gift mm -hmm. um, and it's not my gift mm -hmm. it's um, it's something to be shared mm -hmm. you know um, and I uh, did a show 
1998 mm -hmm. with a lady by the name of Eartha Kitt. Mm. Wow. And, and that was an honor and a privilege. Back then, I was 17. I didn't really understand the, presence the magnitude, that you were in. right? The presence <laughs> that I was in. Yeah. But uh, the first day, well, we rehearsed without Miss Kit for uh, months, mm -hmm. and then the week uh, before the show, she flew in to South Carolina, and this was her first time coming back to South Carolina, which is she's from a small town in South Carolina called North, which is right outside of Orangeburg, mm -hmm. and. Um, this was her first time coming back to South Carolina since leaving and, you know, the situation of, of, um, her life before she left mm -hmm. to become Eartha Kid. Um, she, uh, had a lot of pain and a lot of hurt mm -hmm. about the memories there. Mm -hmm. So one of the things we were able to do with this play is the name of the show is called Souls, directed mm -hmm. and conceived by Walter Rutledge. Mm -hmm. And, uh, we research her birth certificate. And part of the process of the show was presenting that to her. But I'll never forget the first day we actually saw her, worked with her in rehearsal, was a week before the show we opened. And everybody was nervous on pins and needles. Everybody. On everybody. You've got to you gotta make sure you were on point. You remember right. your cues. And this was a musical, so we're acting, singing, and dancing. Right. And Mrs. Kitt's background as an actor, singer, and dancer. So we had done all of our history. We had learned all of that stuff outside of preparing for the show. And when she arrived, um, first of all, she was an hour early. Mm, that says something right there. But when she arrived, everything got quiet and people started, you know, we were on a hold. And then uh, about 15 minutes into the hold, everybody just gets real quiet. And then you hear these footsteps. And we're sitting on stage, you know, dancers, actors, we're sitting on stage, we're just chilling. And I'm sitting on stage, I'm like this. <laughs> you know, I'm like 17, right? Right, right? I'm sitting like this. And all of a sudden, the footsteps get quiet. They stop. And everybody's looking at me. And I look up, and it's Mrs. Kitt. And she says, move. <laughs> she pisses me over. <laughs> I'm like, oh. And then she walks on by and she goes to the center of the stage and she's like, where do you want me? <laughs> <laughs> like the people are rushing. They're like, right here, right here. So she sits down and she begins to say her lines. And we were like, she knows all, she knows what she's supposed to do, you know? Mm. Like she had already studied her process. Right. And, um, and so I brought it. Yeah, she brought it. She mm -hmm. brought it. She was ready to work. She she came into the process ready to work. Yeah. And that was something that I'll, I'll never forget. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was feeling some kind of way about her touching me. She <laughs> you touched me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like me and my youth. I'm like, right. she put, she, no, she didn't touch me. She, she pushed, pushed me. me. <laughs> right, right. But um, I'm happy to say that Eartha Kitt pushed me. <laughs> and, now you're happy to say. <laughs> and when she warmed up to everybody, yeah. um, she was just a normal person. Yeah. Um, she was very motherly, mm -hmm. um, very lovable, mm -hmm. um, and she always pushed me every day. She pushed me. She pushed me. And she did it on purpose, and I felt special about yes, it. Yes, yeah. yeah. So and that was one of my, my greatest memories from, yeah. from performing. And then just uh, the, the lesson learned about showing up and being prepared, how she just came and just showed up and just was prepared. She was ready. And on point. She was ready. Right she was there. ready. Yeah. And and she she extended her appreciation to us mm -hmm. uh, along the way mm -hmm. of how grateful she was to be working with us wow. and how grateful she was to be back home mm -hmm. in South Carolina and for us to be able to tell the story together. Yeah. And the name of the show is called Souls. Why, souls. Wow. That That is a powerful story sharing with us and the lesson that you shared with us. We are going to take a break and when we come back from the flip side of the break, I want you to share the journey. You've given us a little background, but share the journey to the Good Acting Studio, the Black Box Theater. We are sitting in the Good Acting Studio, Michael Mario Good, the Good Acting Studio right here in the Black Box Theater. This is my journey with Paula G. Stay tuned. We'll be back in a moment. Yeah. 
if I told you this rain would stop and my clouds would fly away? Would you believe what I'm saying? Welcome back to my journey with Paula G, where we juggle this journey called life while walking in the gifts and talents that God has given us. And our guest today, Michael Mario Good, has shared with us how he has been walking in the gifts and talents that God has given him. His auntie told him years ago, he, he's a one-man show. From the time that he was a little guy, he was a one-man show. He shared with us earlier in the segment about um, just a, a powerful story about um, his encounter with uh, the one and only wonderful, amazing Miss Eartha Kitt and the lessons that he has learned from that. And now he's here to share with us a bit of his journey to being the owner of the Good Acting Studio. We're here in the Good Acting Studio, the Black Box Theater. So share with us how this came about. Was it, was it a vision that you had at one point in time? How did it come about of opening your own studio? It was, Paula, for me, it was, um a surreal experience. Mm -hmm. um, it, it was a journey. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've, I've always asked for God to order my steps. Yeah. Um, I've always been smart enough to have that be my prayer. I can mm -hmm. remember being a young kid. Mm -hmm. I always, I used to, I remember my great grandmother saying that, mm -hmm. you know, and that, that's one thing that always stuck with that me. That song, Order My Steps. Yes. And so I always, that's, that was always one of my prayers and still mm -hmm. is, God, mm -hmm. order my steps. Mm -hmm. um, you know, lead me the, the, to the way that I should go. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's one thing. But then also early on realizing that what I love to do, mm -hmm. what gives me joy is a ministry mm -hmm. and seeing it as that, mm -hmm. you know, the gift of performing. Mm -hmm. Um, and then when I got a little older, after, you know, studying theater and mm -hmm. theater in school and, 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 lear and learning about the craft of acting, I realized that I never wanted to be, consider myself an actor. I always wanted to think of myself as an artist, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, and so those are two big revelation, re revelations for me. But um, I... I had a uh, family member mm -hmm. who um, got really ill um, and he was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma mm -hmm. and he didn't make it. Mm -hmm. He passed away in 2010 at 11 years old mm -hmm. and I'll say his name. His name was Carlos, Carlito. Mm -hmm. And there's a photo of him in the hallway right mm -hmm. out there yeah. up top right above the water fountain. Yeah. And so part of his, his journey became my journey because um, during his treatment, you know, like that became my life, mm -hmm. going through that process with him. Mm -hmm. um, chemo, the radiation, you know, in and out of the hospital. And um, 
he came to Atlanta to do his his treatment at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, yes. Eggleston Hospital. Yes. Um, and Children's Healthcare is a great, it's an amazing great place, place, by the way. And they're in the great, Atlanta area. Yes. Yes. yes they have amazing a few place. campuses here mm -hmm. in Atlanta. Um, but the care that he got there was the best care that uh, a, a kid with cancer could have gotten, mm -hmm. and and the family. Mm -hmm. So, um, <laughs> in and out of the hospital, when I wasn't there, he would brag to the kids, the other kids on the athletic cancer floor, that I was an actor. And so when I would go, that would turn into He's an actor. He's an actor, right? And I remember one time I got a I got a question like, "Do you know Will Smith?" <laughs> Some random person, <laughs> because they thought I was well, they I was an actor, but right. they didn't know who I was, right. right? And so one day we started playing games. Mm -hmm. It started with the Uno game, a Uno card game, and that turned into playing improv games, and that started into you know the improv mm -hmm. games, and you know. Um, say yes and and things mm -hmm. like that and so that that's what that turned into and so for a little while we could forget about the situation that those kids were in they were dealing with right and that brought so much joy and i'm like yes god use me use me use mm -hmm. me um it was a way for me to cope with what was going on yes and so um like i said we lost carlos mm -hmm. but before he passed he said mikey Remember, my family calls me Mikey. Yes. <laughs> he said, you need to open an uh, acting school. At 11 years old. At 11 years old. And so he passed away June 3rd, 2010. Mm -hmm. And after we passed, after he passed, um, it wasn't a vision, but it was a feeling. I remember him saying that. Mm -hmm. And that became my life's mission. Mm. was to open open an acting school. I didn't know what it was going to look like. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what it was going to feel like. Mm -hmm. um, but at 11 years old, one thing that I did carry was a lot of guilt for why am I still here? Carlos mm -hmm. was my younger brother. Right. And he's the reason why Good Acting Studio exists. Wow. And so it wasn't, it wasn't something that I ever wanted to create. Mm -hmm. um, and if I had known what I know now about how hard this, was, this journey would be, mm -hmm. I probably would have said, nah, that ain't going to happen. <laughs> right. But God put all the people in my life that I needed mm -hmm. at the time that I needed them mm -hmm. to create this. Yes. I've had, I had mentors, I had teachers, I had directors, I had people some people I didn't know who just believed in the vision. And as I look back, I realized that all along, everything that I had been doing as an actor and not, and even when I wasn't working as an actor, I had been teaching. Wow. I had been teaching the craft. So yeah. I had been, right. So when it came to writing curriculum for programs and, mm -hmm. and things, and, and it turned into, and, and, and God put me in touch with some great folks like mm -hmm. Freddie Hendricks, mm -hmm. Youth Ensemble of Atlanta. You know, and he, we started, I started working with all these people, you know, Travis Payne, Michael Jackson's choreographer, you know, um, who said, we'll support you. And so the vision became bigger than anything that I could have ever imagined. Mm -hmm. It was God ordering my steps. Mm -hmm. And because of Good Acting Studio, where we provide training for the total actor. Yes. Every child, every kid, mm -hmm. even not in, in this physical space, but when we go and do workshops, other places, every child I see, I see Carlos in, in that them. child. So he still lives. Mm -hmm. And um, that's how we came to, to be sitting here mm -hmm. right now. Um, and that was my journey to opening this, this place. This place. Yeah. What, what can you speak to the audience in reference to, because you, you shared the you know, the loss and out of the loss, how um, you open the studio. What can you speak in the, the two minutes or so that we have? Mm -hmm. What can you speak to the audience, the audience member who may have a similar journey 
and may feel discouraged, doesn't have the, whatever it was inside of you that caused you to keep going, that in life our spirits may be broken. There are going to be times when we experience things in life where we're going to feel like this is too much. Mm -hmm. I can't get through this. I don't know what to do. Why am I here? Why am I going through this? But if you turn that angle around and continue to ask God to order your steps mm -hmm. and be your source of strength, mm -hmm. that you'll make it through it. Mm -hmm. Because the ground is no place for champions. Mm -hmm. Come on now. And when you feel like you're behind, when you feel like you're defeated, that's not an excuse to give up. Even when you feel behind, mm -hmm. you can't give up the race. Right. You gotta run a little harder. You gotta wake up earlier. You gotta study a little more. Mm -hmm. You gotta pray a little more. Mm -hmm. That's the time when you use the opportunity to empower yourself. Even if you don't feel that inside, find something simple, something small. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, it's nature. Mm -hmm. Being outside, mm -hmm. having connecting, having, having that sense of peace, mm -hmm. and allowing that to move you um, through the difficult times. Really difficult. How can the audience stay connected with you? We are on Instagram at Good Acting Studio. Mm -hmm. We're also on Facebook at Good Acting Studio. And those are probably the best ways. We have a website as well, Good Acting Studio. How, how easy is that? How easy. Yeah. Michael Mario Good, the Good Acting Studio right here in the Atlanta, Georgia area. And we thank uh, Mario so much for sharing with us such a powerful testimony and also sharing with us the dream, the vision, sharing with us Carlos and um, just allowing us to embrace his journey and taking us on his journey. This is my journey with Paula G. Thank you so much for joining us. Until next time, embrace the journey. All right. <laughs> Wow. All right, thank you. Greetings and thank you for tuning in to My Journey with Paula G. We'd like to thank our underwriters, the Good Actor Studio of Marietta, Georgia, my coffee shop at East Lake, Pastor Time International Bible College, Augusta, Georgia, with Dr. Paul and Marcia Kelly, Creekside Dental Incorporated of Douglasville, Georgia. Lusu Designs with Brandon Sampson of Maryland. Survival Radio Network and Clicks Photography by Clark Garrison. And Positive Power Double XI Christian Media and Radio Network with Journey Was Live Worldwide. We hope you enjoyed this presentation and tune in again. Embrace the journey.